Today we're looking at something really cool. Uh, it is an audio mixer. So we're gonna have a look at this is Fenix PTX10 USB mixer. I've used audio mixers for probably the past uh, maybe four years or so, and I absolutely love them. And I've got one today that I want to show you. This is the Fenix PTX10 USB mixer. I think it's a great mixer, honestly, uh, but I don't think it's anything super special. I kind of want to show this video for people who have not used uh, an audio mixer before with an XLR microphone. So, so you saw the microphone that I have. It runs the cable all the way here, and you can see I have a gain for this mic right here. So I can adjust this. Obviously, if I turn it down, you cannot hear me at all. I typically have this all the way up, and when I adjust the gain for the mic, uh, I can use this slider, which is kind of nice. Uh, if I move it down, obviously I get quiet, uh, move it up, and then you can hear that. You can see the button for phantom power. This phantom power is an important thing if you have an XLR microphone. If you have an XLR mic, you need to somehow supply power to the mic. You can buy a device that that's all it does is supply power. You can get um, certain sound cards will supply power or audio interfaces. I like getting a mixer like this because it has the power built in. You can turn this on or off. If I turn this off um, as the capacitors or whatever run out of power, you're going to hear my volume level slowly start to fade into oblivion as this mic no longer has power. So that's, that's why you need power. Without power, you obviously can't hear anything, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the level I'm at right here. This is an interesting button. It can lower the volume by 20 decibels. So uh, I guess there's a reason why you could want to do that. Like if I wanted to be really quiet right now, I just press this button. And now I'm really quiet. I'm presumably 20 decibels less. So there you have that button. Now let's move on to these three green buttons. You've got your low, mid, high. Um, this mic is already kind of bassy. If I turn up the low, then I get even bassier. I'm going to try to talk more quietly and turn the bass all the way up. So, yeah, that's a lot of clipping. So, that's with the bass up. This is with the mid up. And, wow. So that's an interesting effect. And then let's turn the high up. Um, and that's the high. So, you know, depending on how you want your voice to sound, I don't like turning these up. But if I wanted to do something to my voice, I could turn the, the low up a little bit and the high up a little bit. Kind of give me more of a an open sound, I guess, if you, you wanted to go for that sort of thing. So kind of sound like you're more in an open room if you wanted to sound more, you know, intimate, I guess. Intimate. You could uh, turn up the mids and the bass and talk in a voice like, sorry, I'm going to stop now. Okay, so you've got these knobs. Um, here's a super fun one. Uh, you've got an effect... This mixer was made in China. I have lived in China, and I know that in China, karaoke is popular. An echo on karaoke is popular. Echo, 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 echo. Fortunately, there's a mute button for that. For instruments and other things, and I guess maybe some singing, I could see why you would want echo. Uh, I never use it. I only use this mixer for talking into the mic, but yeah, there you go. This knob, USB, this is just for the volume for me, for what I can hear if I'm listening to music. That's pretty simple. This uh, headphones knob, this is basically anything that you hear in the mic. So if I don't want to hear me talking, I can turn this down all the way. If I only want to hear me talking, I can turn this up really loud. Um, yikes. 
So I'm, I'm going to turn this back down to a normal level. And obviously I'm using this uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack here. You do have the quarter inch if you want it, if that's what you use. So now let's talk about some of the additional inputs. So you have a 3.5 millimeter input if you want to use that. And then you've got the, the quarter inch you can use for guitar or keyboard or something like that. Boom. Whoops, sorry. So you've got line in an instrument. So say you have another audio source, like a, a device with input going in. You can have this button up or you can press it down. It uh, provides the extra volume. So these are other line in channels, so they don't have the extra volume or power for an instrument. That you would need so th this would be like for a keyboard that has its own volume and power so that's with this mixer if you're a musician and you want to mix maybe a keyboard and guitar or something like that i really like this type of mixer for just my voice i like having the control i like having the volume control if i need it I can easily mute myself or unmute myself or adjust the levels and make sure I've got a level that I'm happy with. If you're looking into getting an XLR microphone and you don't already have an audio mixer, I definitely recommend you get an audio mixer. I think this one's a great one. Uh, I've used other mixers and honestly, they all work pretty well in my experience. Find one at a price you like. Make sure it has your XLR input. I like this one because it's a dual XLR slash quarter inch jack. Overall, this Fenix mixer I really enjoy. I think it works really well. I like the interface. Uh, everything with it works. Uh, I haven't had any issues. I'll post a link below if you are interested and want to check it out. I'll post a link of some other mixers or audio interfaces I have tried and I like. If you are thinking of getting an XLR microphone, look into getting uh, an audio mixer like this as well.